Hey, here we are near the electric service panel for this system. Um, we're standing next to a, a string inverter here. Now, that term string refers to how we wire uh, solar modules. We, we call them strings uh, in terms of the panels that are wired in series. And typically you're going to see somewhere between 5 to 13 modules can be wired in series with a simple string inverter like we have here. Uh, this string inverter is made by SMA. Uh, it's manufactured in Colorado. Uh, it's a high quality inverter. Uh, SMA has a, a long history in the solar industry. Um, they make a very, very robust product and they provide great, great customer support. Now, what this device does is it takes the, when, when the solar panel is exposed to sunlight, they create a DC current. So DC like the power, direct current that we have in our vehicles. Um, the wiring that connects the panels, the solar array, to this inverter uh, carries that direct current and the inverter changes that direct current to alternating current so that it can be utilized in this house and then be also pushed out onto the grid which is also alternating current. Now in this case this is a larger system this inverter may be a little bit different than the one that you might have if you are uh, putting in a, a smaller residential system. Um, but this inverter has three strings, three strings of 10 modules. Uh, we saw the 30 panels up on the roof. This is basically taking that direct current uh, from that array and converting it into AC power. Now you'll notice that we have a few devices here around the inverter. This is a DC disconnect, so this disconnects the inverter from the solar panels on the roof. Uh, and that's for safety. Uh, we need to shut that down if we need to do service, etc. That's what that's there for. Then we also have an AC disconnect here that acts as the switch between the inverter and the electric supply uh, to the house. And so what happens is the power produced is converted into AC power. It gets fed into the service panel. If there's any electricity being used in the house, it first gets delivered there. And if the system is producing more than is actually being consumed in the house, it's going to push it back onto the grid and we'll see the two meters outside that measure the power being delivered to the house and the power that's being delivered from the house back onto the grid. This particular inverter has just a simple LCD display. Uh, if you have a large system, uh, you may have an inverter like this. It actually has a pretty neat feature where you knock on the casing and it advances. It tells us right now the system is putting out roughly 6.4 kilowatts. It's a nice cool day outside. It tells us here that the total energy that it's done for its lifetime is roughly 14,000 megawatt hours. So this system's been in service for roughly a year and a half and has put out approximately 14 megawatt hours. Um, we have some other displays here. It will show the amount of carbon that's been offset. In this case, 239,000 pounds of carbon that have been offset by basically reducing the amount of electricity that this home has used. Now, this is a simple way. SMA has some other inverters that will have uh, a display that will show graphs, etc. cetera. Um, but one of the very nice features, uh, this inverter, we'll take a look at it in a minute, is it's connected directly through the wireless connection in this home, so we can actually monitor it uh, on my smartphone right here. We can monitor it uh, from a computer anywhere in the world. So. I could, be, I could be halfway around the world and be able to check in on my phone the production of this system within the last, up to until about the last hour. And we'll show you that. So here we have a smartphone app on my iPhone. They make smartphone applications for Android as well. Um, you know, this will allow us to go in here and see the production of this particular system. So. You can see right now it's about 10 a.m. This graph is showing us how much it's produced up until 9 o'clock today. I can switch back to go through and see what the system did yesterday. It put out roughly 19 kilowatt hours. And we, as we go through here, we can get to see if clouds have come in. Uh, we see kind of juts that go up or spikes. 
this is a pretty nice day here. Nice little bell curve. This put out 45 kilowatt hours on February 23rd. And you'll notice on there there will be some days on here where it can be a little bit choppy. This was a pretty this was actually some snow on the panels. Pretty low production day, but it still put out 2.3 kilowatt hours.